Okay, hi, Santa Clara Broncos here. We have Bianca Henninger. Thanks for joining us, Bianca. Oh, thanks for having me, Max. What has a, a team morale been like this week at practice? Uh, you know, team morale has been really good. I think uh, anytime you get the opportunity to play the number one team in the nation, it's always, you know, a big pump up for everyone. And everyone's been really motivated. You know, we haven't gotten a win in a little bit, so we're excited to have another opportunity to get another chance to get a W. Um, what has your preparation been like for you specifically this week? Have you changed any part of your routine or have you, you know, watched old footage, anything different this week? Um, you know, just trying to make sure I feel ready to go on Sunday, just all the little things, making sure um, I feel comfortable on Sunday and not really worried about anything that should come naturally to me. You know, always focus on um, the simple things because as a goalkeeper, I think so many times people see big saves and they're like, oh, like, that was just because she was so athletic or they must work on that every day. And it's really just like simple things like footwork and, you know, distribution and stuff like that that's going to make the game easier for us on Sunday. How do you think playing one game this weekend will change um, in terms of you guys feeling well rested or how do you think that changes the dynamics of a weekend for you? I think, you know, it'll be good for us, especially since, like I said, we've gotten a couple ties in a row now and so... For us now, games are literally 110 minutes, so I think it'll be good for us to finally kind of just get our legs back and get back into the swing of things and just not be, not that we have been fatigued in the past, but just not be necessarily a step behind other teams because we've put that on ourselves playing 110 minute games um, a couple times in a row. So it's nice to just go into a game, be fresh and be ready to go. Uh, it's the first weekend that students are back on campus. How do you think that will change the game atmosphere for your team? I'm hoping that we can get a nice crowd here at Santa Clara. Um, I'm excited that it seems like people around here are excited for the game. Um, it'll be nice to have, you know, our peers in the stands because I always think that's an extra motivation for everyone on the field, just, you know, having your friends and having um, just people your age out there and proving yourself in front of all those guys. It'll be a nice motivator again. Uh, Lindsay Taylor is leading Stanford in goals and assists, and also a key player for them is Trace Noyola. You grew up in the Bay Area playing with and against them. Does that make this game even more personal for you? Yeah, you know, I think there's a couple of us on this team that have played with and against those guys since we were little, and, uh, you know, it's always a battle. Um, a lot of good players in the mix of, you know, those people who know each other, and it's just... You know, it's a battle. Like I said, it's going to be definitely a hard game, definitely hard. To, it's always hard to play against people you know because, you know, you try and kind of go off past experience and, like, you know, not necessarily guess but read and analyze what they're going to do just based off what we've been through in the past with each other. And um, it'll just be, it's like a, it's an extra degree of, you know, awareness out there just because we've known each other for so long and, um more competitiveness as well, I think. So it'll be definitely an exciting game on Sunday. Okay, well, best of luck to you and the team, Yanka. Thanks, man.